Hi and welcome to another Swift Coding episode and um, I really wanted to do this one today. Um, it's pretty late here but uh, uh, thank you to all the follow followers. Um, even if you're a Python, I'll try and get out a Python video as well. Uh, something similar if I can. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible yet because I haven't tried it yet but this this one I'm going to create uh, a fireworks in the game template of Swift and so open up a new game and we'll call it fireworks got it suiting for celebrating something you go see some fireworks so I uh, wanted to try and create something for you guys and girls if you're um, now um, the problem with game scene is uh, when you load up the first one, there's quite a lot of stuff in here that you can get rid of. So just try and follow as quickly as you can. And I'm just going to keep the scene did load pretty much function and get rid of everything else. There we go. And you could create that into a boiler code as well. Just right click on that and create a code snippet and that is a good starting place for your game scene. And there's just a couple of other things in here actually. Uh, we don't want these. And same thing in here. Just copy that as is and you're ready to go. And create another code snippet. All right, awesome. Now we're ready to create our firework. We just need another file so Command N and start typing in particle file. Now, if you want to try and do this yourself as a challenge, do it. Uh, I highly suggest having a go, searching the internet for things to get you started. And we're going to yep use the Spark. There's a bunch of other ones in there, but we're just going to use Spark. That's suiting for a firework, and let's call it firework. SKS. And there's one there. You can actually touch on the screen, drag it around. It's not too bad. I kind of want to get a bit more color into it. So go over to the right here. If you can't see it, just open that panel with that open panel button on the top right. Show the inspector. And we're going to start changing some of these things here. So to create it into a firework, we don't want it to do this, but I'm going to leave it like this for a second. Uh, to get the color scheme happening. Uh, and you, you want to be able to play with that to mess around with this color scheme. So let's have a look. So we've got, now if you scroll down here, we can create a color ramp. So what we're going to do, I just don't want one color, I want a few. So if you click on a new space beside it, there we go, we can choose another color. So now I'm gonna choose the first color again and I'm gonna set it to blue. The next color, I just did it a fraction over, I'm gonna choose green. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let's do another one as well. Because fireworks are, you know, sometimes a few colors. I'm gonna make this all the basic colors. And one more, or maybe two more. Let's do a red. And I think one more as well. I think a blue, or you could do a white. Could look pretty good. Your choice. You play around with it. It's quite fun. And having it going off like this, uh, you can get a quite a good look at what you're developing. Now, once that's done, let's set the maximum to about 100. Okay, and there we go. We've got a bit of a firework there. It looks pretty good. Okay. And uh, what else do I want to do? Hmm. I think that looks pretty good, actually. I might leave it at that. Could even, yeah, that looks great. Let's do that. All right, let's go to the game scene and add this to our view. Now I'm gonna do it so that we can add it 
uh, to wherever you touch. So type in touches, began. That's why I get rid of all that other stuff. If you type it in, it'll give you the methods that are built in to, to Swift. And there's our touches began. And to get our location, we'll use these things that are uh, automatically gathered from our view. So we're going to use those touches. So we're going to get, now it grabs a set of touches. We're going to get the first one. So let touch, or you can call it first touch, equals touches dot first. And let's force that. And then we're going to get the location of that touch. So loc, short for location, touch. I'm going to use that touch dot location in self. There we go. That'll give our location that Wherever we touch, we can print that out if we want, but we're going to create a firework. So we'll let the emitter equal SK emitter node, and it's a file named, make sure you spell it right. Good way to double check that is to select it all. So Command A, Copy, Command C. Let's go back. I like using these to go backwards and forwards. They're quite cool. Paste. There we go. Now, where are we going to place it? Emitter.position equals lock, or location for short. Then, all we do is add child emitter. And that's it, simple. Now it wants to unwrap the emitter. So let's do that as well. Now you can do a test to make sure the emitter is safe. I'm just gonna do it like this for now. And let's build it on the iPhone so you can see it. So let's have a look at that again. So we created our firework particle. Try some other particles too, it's good fun. Created a color ramp and set a maximum range for the birth rate. So it doesn't last forever. So we'll touch it, it's gonna uh, disappear. All right, so we've got a hello world. And there we go, there's our fireworks. Uh, I'm just gonna do it one more time. Go to my game scene and say, double tap on that. Should we have to change it? Oh, maybe up here. Okay. And thank you for following. Here we go, so we'll stop and run that again. Wherever you tap, it'll create that emitter node. Cool. Thanks a lot and have a good one. See you soon.